Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to cover how to create an SSID for a different user group using uh, the Fortinet security stack. Uh, so with that, the scenario might be that you have two different internet service providers uh, attaching, of course, to your FortiGate, uh, going into a Forti switch uh, to the access point where you're going to break out uh, two different SSIDs, service set identifiers, for different groups. One might be the guest network and one might be the production. Uh, so with that, today what we're going to do is we're going to create the production SSID. We're going to create an SD-WAN connection that will be used by that SSID and then map uh, the SSID to the SD-WAN connection. Uh, so warning, uh, you should already have your gear in the same firmware revision, OS version. Uh, so if you don't, please click on the link here below for a video on how to get that done. All right, so with that, um, taking you to an already logged in FortiGate 60F. Uh, I'll just quickly go through the ports. Uh, obviously you see WAN 1 and WAN 2 at, here at the top have, uh, have both been um, populated by different internet service providers per that topology. Uh, then you have port 1, which is uh, my direct connection into the FortiGate. Port 3 is uh, a switch port uh, going uh, to the Forti switch. And then I also have uh, this connection here for the Forda link, which is basically how the Forda gate and the uh, Forda switch talk to each other uh, behind the scenes. So with that, um, you'll see that I've already created a, an SSID here for the BYOD uh, network or the guest network. What we're going to do for this one is we're going to create the production network. Uh, so first step is to go to the interface. Uh, you give the label. This label doesn't really matter. Uh, it's not what's going to be broadcast. But uh, you'll select the Wi-Fi SSID. Uh, the tunnel mode means that since the connection is already there between uh, the FortiGate, the Forti switch, and then the Forti access point, um, this is going to be able to reach in directly essentially to the access point and advertise uh, uh, this, this uh, network here. So we're creating everything. Um, with that, I will go ahead and create a network here. Make it the 200 network. Sorry for the typing. All right, uh, the most important one is to connect the security fabric connection. This is what enables the CAPWAP. You can leave most of the defaults up here. Uh, this is the advertised uh, network. So this will be the SSID that is broadcast. You'll need to put in a password. Leave everything else as default and hit OK. So at this point, um, it's now showing up, uh, the production network uh, as, as a uh, there's, since it's tunneled directly to the access point, the access point is actually broadcasting this SSID. In fact, if I can, I will figure out how to minimize my screen here. So as you can see, we have the production network here now showing up. So I can connect to it. might take a second for it to authenticate, but you're going to notice that there's no internet connectivity at this point. So as you can see, no internet. It is secured, uh, but no internet connection. So we still need to build uh, the connection in the FortiGate to directly address that problem. So in order to make that happen, uh, we're going to go to the uh, policies and objects, firewall policy, and we'll create a new uh, SD-WAN profile here. SD-WAN, actually let me make, make this production underscore SD-WAN. Incoming interface uh, is going to be the production network. Outgoing interface, we're going to use the virtual WAN link. This is the connection, as you can see, the SD-WAN zone includes both my WAN links right there. 
for this source and destination, I'll just put all. I'm generous. <laughs> all right. Uh, besides that, we can turn on some policies. Maybe we want to have a web filter. You know, I've, I've built a custom profile. I'm going to leave that one off for right now. Uh, but we can enable some security to the SD WAN. All right, there it is. Uh, so now uh, we should have the production SD WAN network pointing to the uh, SD WAN connection that we created. So it should show that we have internet when I go back. And sure enough, connected and secured. I could test it for you, uh, but right now just trust that it is working. So we have successfully created two SSIDs, uh, one with the BYOD network, the other one with the production network. And now we can move on to creating some policies. So the nice part about having a guest network and a production network, of course, is to say your guest user should not have the same level of access to resources that your production should. Uh, so if we go over to uh, the network here, I'll show you some of the rules for SD-WAN, I built some rules for the guest network that basically say, hey, um, you're only allowed to go out my second WAN connection. And I'm gonna manually force you to go out that WAN connection. I could add the other interface of WAN 1, but that's my production one that's that's a much more high, higher quality, more expensive connection. So I'm gonna reserve that one specifically for the production network. So that's for my guest network. What we'll do is we'll create a new policy for production. You can designate WAN1 and WAN2. Um, I apologize. I messed up here. I need to find the... Yes, this is it right here. Uh, production is the 10-200-200 network, which we just created. And so now we can hit close. So this will be for the 10-200-200 uh, network and we can say now uh, with different load balancing metrics uh, that we can, so long as everything hits our, our SLA targets, we can actually use both, uh, both WAN targets. And so this is the best way of utilizing uh, your, your, your connectivity in a high availability scenario. Uh, we can choose from a predefined uh, list of targets. And so long as the health of these two uh, two uh, targets are, are within uh, scope, then we should be able to use both of them uh, concurrently and actually you know, maximize our bandwidth. So with that, I hope that you've enjoyed uh, the, the video. Hope that's been informative. As you can see, we're using WAN1, WAN2, uh, whereas the guest network is only allowed to use uh, WAN2. And Thank you for your time.